In the enigmatic tapestry of the Book of Revelation, an awe-inspiring vision emerges. A woman draped in the brilliance of the sun, with the moon at her feet, and a crown adorned with twelve stars. Revelation 12 verse 1 unveils this symbolic icon, and it draws us into the epic narrative of Israel's enduring covenant with God. As we delve deeper into the rich symbolism, we take a magnified journey to the ancient core of Israel, where a sacred covenant was carved into the annals of time. A closer look at Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6 reveals God's proclamation, If you obey me completely and uphold my covenant, you shall be my cherished possession amongst all nations. This covenant distinguished Israel, becoming the defining trait of the radiant woman. This woman in Revelation 12 is also reminiscent of Joseph's dream spoken in Genesis 37 verse 9. Lo, I have had still another dream, and behold, the sun and the moon and eleven stars were bowing down to me. When Joseph unveiled his dream to his family, the revelation carried profound significance, and it wasn't without a touch of exasperation from his siblings. In this dream, the sun and the moon symbolically represented the patriarch, Jacob and Joseph's mother, Rachel. Eleven stars shimmered in the dream sky, emblematic of his eleven brothers with Joseph himself standing as the twelfth star. This family from which the nation of Israel and its twelve tribes sprang held a pivotal place in history. Now as we encounter the same imagery adorning the symbolic woman in verse 1, we have compelling grounds to perceive her as the representation of the nation of Israel. In verse 5 we see this imagery. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who will rule all the nations with an iron scepter, and her child was snatched up to God and to his throne. This was a prophecy echoed in Psalm 2 verse 7 to 9. This messianic revelation unmistakably points to Jesus, and verse 5 aligns with his birth, a significant event that transpired over 2,000 years ago. As Jesus concluded his earthly journey, he was indeed lifted up to the presence of God, taking his rightful place upon the divine throne a place he occupies to this day, until his return, where he will set up his kingdom here on earth and rule all nations with an iron scepter. Then in verse 6, the woman fled into the wilderness to a place prepared for her by God, where she might be taken care of for 1,260 days. This event in Revelation quickly transitions into a future event. We had just delved into the idea of the woman symbolizing Israel, her role in giving birth to the Messiah, Jesus, and how this aligns with the historical events of two millennia ago. However, a shift in the narrative unfolds as we witness the woman's flight to a sanctuary where God shall provide for her for a span of 1,260 days. This intriguing twist finds no parallel in the past, nor has it unfolded since those distant times. The reference to 1,260 days ties this account to the same duration mentioned not only in the book of Revelation, but also in the book of Daniel, signifying a period of great tribulation, destined for the apocalypse, where a possible siege of Israel may happen. Yet despite this, Israel will be protected. The notion of divine protection for Israel during the great tribulation finds its roots in Old Testament prophecy. A striking example can be found in Zechariah 14 verses 1 to 5, which vividly portrays the day of the Lord, a time when God's wrath shall be unleashed as Christ returns as the ultimate King. However, preceding this, a profound promise is made. God will stand as a defender of Israel, taking up the battle against their adversaries and providing a sanctuary for the Jewish people to find refuge. Though it might not always appear evident, the unfolding of our current events seems to be aligning with the prophetic narratives of Scripture, inching us closer to what many anticipate as the culmination of times. Instead of complacency, let us remain vigilant and prepared for the day of the Lord draws near and our readiness is paramount. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more explorations into the apocalyptic prophecies found in the Scriptures. Please like and subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos that informs and explains about what to expect before the apocalypse.